Ready for some Friday fun? I am. Over there is our friend Ben. He is a classically trained chef, whereas Jamie and I, on the other hand, are normal home cooks. And we're challenging him today to cook the ultimate burger in sub 10 minutes. Ooh, now we've given Ben a select few ingredients to make his burger, but he's also brought in three ingredients from home that he would love to put in his burger if he gets the chance. So we're gonna ask him some questions and see if he can put them in. Ben, what have you chosen? Controversial, but I've gone for hash browns, kimchi, and wait for it, spinach. Who puts, who, who puts spinach in a burger? Now you've just instantly made that burger worse. 13 years I've been living my brand and spinach in a burger is it. Our first challenger stepping up to the burger plate is Benjamin Ebers Ebrel. Although he looks like he's nearly 60, he's actually only 35 years old. He's from the Shires, but not the one you're thinking of. It's Hertfordshire. Ask him what his favourite dish is. You think he's going to say fish pie? It's actually quiche. If you think you recognise him, of course, it's because he's best known for starring in CITV's Munchbox. Wasn't that cancelled after the first series? And finally, Ben's unique skill that's really going to help him when it comes to making a burger in the quickest time possible he loves to sit on a fence. Can we get a whoop whoop for Ebers? Barry, back to you in the studio. Let's get to it. Question one. We did a series of videos looking at the Signature Dishes cookbook, including an episode, our favorite, on the McDonald's Big Mac. What was the dish we looked at in the first episode? Now remember, Ben, you were in this video, so you should remember it. Yeah, it was oysters. Can I, can I get the full title, please? Oysters and pearls or something. Yes, you are correct. That is one right. It's a classic. French question, classic. Question number two. Name all the ingredients that go into Cushy's burger bun recipe. Uh, <laughs> flour, yeast, egg, milk, sugar salt, egg glaze. He might seed it, so possibly sesame seeds. Anything else? A bit of love, a lot of love. He puts a lot of love in all his food. He does put a lot of love, and like his love making, he also puts butter. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd have given me the love making clue, I'd have got there quicker. Question number three: The Maillard reaction is a chemical reaction between amino, uh, amino, amino acids, amino acids. Thanks, Ben, <laughs> and reducing sugars that give the brown food its distinctive colour. What's the optimum temperature for the Maillard reaction? <laughs> And just, just to make, put the pressure up, we asked Kush this and he got it spot on. 72 degrees. <laughs> oh. You can hear Kush's laugh in the background. I'm sorry, Ben, it's 153. So you got two out of three. Which of your two ingredients would you like to choose? I'm gonna be honest, I only put spinach in there as a gag anyway, so I'd like the two I actually want, which is kimchi and hash browns. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> spinach in a burger. <laughs> <laughs> well. Let's get into the kitchen. Right, Ben, your 10 minutes starts in three, two, two one, one, burger! Come on, Evers! So I don't have any choice but beef burger, because that's what we've been provided. I'm gonna season it well <laughs> and avoid the sabotage. I see why he wanted that in your hand now. Heavy on pepper and salt, quick mix. That's smoked salt, smoked right, salt. That's extra flavor, Evers, you're getting. Smoked in. salt. Yep. Right, okay, so we're all allowed smoked salt, everyone, okay? Right, that's okay, cool. something right, Evers right. has decided. So, you're not overworking your meat here. Squishing oh. it good. Oh, you're between grease proof. Yeah, just kind of patting it out. Are you going to smash yeah. burgers, Evers? No, kind of pressed burgers. Okay. <laughs> so it's just straight away, nothing else in the burger. Just, just seasoned. Seasoned. Do you want to have a little taste, first of all, to make sure it's seasoned well enough? <laughs> no, this many years, you kind of get a judge by eye. And is it key to make sure the patties are the same size? No, because what you'll want is one to sit on top of the other and not to fall over. He's doing a double oh! burger! Oh, in your face! <laughs> Secondly, I'm going to use my special ingredient, hash browns. These are also going to squish down. Oh, oh not that much. <laughs> and then crisp up. Oh! So a shallow fry. Yep. Emma's, when was the last time you cooked a burger at home? I don't think I have ever cooked a burger in the flat I have. You've been there for a day. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've cooked a burger in my house. 
on a barbecue, yes. In the studio, plenty. Not at home. Would never be my first choice. So you're saying you're out of practice? Yeah. Making excuses already. Right, got it. Cool. Kimchi mayo. Ooh. Nice. With lettuce. And nearly time to flip. What sort of time are you aiming for here? Well, you gave me 10 minutes. Yeah. And burgers are naturally fast food, right? Yeah. yeah. So quick is good, but not at the sacrifice of quality. OK. Just to warn you now, if you go over 10 minutes, you are automatically disqualified. News to me, good fun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why I did that. That's silly. Bigger bowl. <laughs> hey! I love it, Wendy. Kimchi mayo, hash browns. Are you building this off a burger that you've had before? Like, where is this flavour inspiration coming no, from? No, absolutely love uh, kimchi mayo. And we've had kind of dressed lettuce before when it's been like burger sauce, ketchup and the like. Yeah. Cheese, cheese. Oh, Evan! Ah, straight away. Oh. Go on, Evan. Oh. Evan's your hash browns. Nice and crispy. Oh, oh. 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 How long have I had? Um, I can't tell you. Oh. Toasted bun. Where from? Where was that? Where did that Went take? in the oven. You missed it. You were paying too much attention to other things. The other one's going in. Are you toasting a bun one at a time? No, I toasted the bottom because I'm going to start building it. And now while I'm building it, I'll do the rest. No sauce on the bottom? No sauce on the bottom. But because of our pyramid techers, Oh my goodness, Where it Evers. gets slightly thinner towards the top. Generous here. Oh my goodness. goodness. When are we going to melt the cheese? Oh my goodness. When, 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 double when, patty. But we're not going to oh melt the cheese. And this double hash brown. Big, the belt looks like it's going to be sooner than I thought. What is happening? His top bun's not toasted. Top bun is toasting. He hasn't got any sauce in there yet. What's he, gone? What's he gone for now? I figured, given we're doing burgers, on, a no, nice no, white no. wine from Burgenland, an Austrian white, will <laughs> cut through the richness of the burger. <laughs> he doesn't understand what we're doing here, does he? <laughs> <laughs> Toasted the bottom. Toasted. That's not very toasted, is it, Evers? Oh. Oh. You can hear that on the microphone. There's no mild reaction happened on that, am I right? <laughs> no, I only yeah. took it to 73 <laughs> degrees. That was the problem, you see. More on that. More on that. Where's my bell? Oh, sorry. Oh, my oh, bell. You want to ring it? Stop the clock. Woo! Woo! Not what I expected at all. Not what I expected <laughs> at all. <laughs> Great job. I mean, you're the first one in line here. Go on. I'm going to be both winner and loser <laughs> on the leaderboard. Yeah, you will. Uh, right, let's cut into it, and then I want you to talk us through your process. Yep. Oh, it, I mean, it should never be done, but it cuts better than I expected. Yeah. That is a double patty cheeseburger with kimchi slaw and crispy hash brown. The Ebers special. Oh, What's on the, on the menu? We've got, we've got a title here. Well, I like the hash brown from the Big Daddy vibe, but I like the kimchi from the kind of Korean fermented funky. So how about the funky daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Ever the funky daddy. <laughs> the funky daddy. I love it. Cheers. 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 Floppy. Meaty. <laughs> Seasoned. I would never put a hash brown in a beef burger. No but it really works. Oh, oh, oh. Well, a friend of mine has got a farm and they mostly grow potatoes and cattle. So what grows together goes together. Phenomenal, Peppers. I didn't expect it to taste that good. But kimchi is subtle though. Well, you mm. know I don't like my mm. hot spice, mm. but I like the fermented funk. It's got a really lovely funk from the kimchi. The hash brown, crust on the outside, soft in the middle, much like the patties. And I appreciate that. It's a great burger, Ben. Is there anything you would have changed? I would have cooked off a small amount of that meat mixture to make sure the season was correct, but that's the one thing that I would like to do if you had more time. Now, it's a great burger, but that's not the only thing that matters here, is it? What matters is how quickly did you cook it in? Okay, results are in. Firstly, we can reveal it was sub 10 minutes, so you make the board. I was pretty confident with that. The question is where? Five minutes and three seconds. That, I, okay, I'm impressive. Uh, that is impressive. Bang in the middle, with room for people to beat it, fall a bit behind with a better burger. Lots to play with. The question's who's next? Comment down below. 
Anybody. Chefs, guests, other creators. Normals. Let, friends, not friends. Enemies. <laughs> Let's get everyone involved.